Hey everyone, it's Yuto here from SlashyRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy and flavorful dish called Buta Kimchi Tame. First let's look at the ingredients for two portions you will need 200 grams of thinly sliced pork shoulder, a pinch of salt and pepper, one tablespoon of weak flour, one tablespoon of sesame oil, one clove of finely chopped fresh garlic, one teaspoon of finely chopped fresh ginger, quarter an onion sliced, uh, one teaspoon of oyster sauce, 200 grams of cabbage kimchi, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of tzuyu sauce, 30 grams of Chinese chives, and lastly two teaspoons of toasted sesame seeds and one tablespoon of spring onion for garnish on the top. So I'm starting by sprinkling the pork with salt and pepper, then I'm going to coat it with wheat flour. You can use all-purpose flour for this, it just adds a good texture to the pork and also helps absorb the flavours. I'm using thinly sliced pork but it's not a big deal if you can't find it where you live. You can cut pork into thicker strips and it will still taste good. This is a simple stir fry dish so don't overthink it. Next, heat a frying pan on medium and add one tablespoon of sesame oil. Sesame oil has such a great flavour, it's especially good for stir fries. Once it's hot, add one clove of finely chopped garlic and one teaspoon of finely chopped ginger to the pan and fry until fragrant. It's good to cut everything in the pan so that the cooking part goes smoothly. Right, that's smelling very delicious, let's add the pork. Buto is Japanese word for pickled pork, so we always make this dish with pork, but if you want to use different meat, I think it will still taste good. We're going to just cook it for a minute or so until it's browned. This dish is great because it only needs one pan. Once the pork is cooked a little, add the onions. We add the onions after the pork because we want them to keep their texture. They mix in nicely with the kimchi. Next, add one teaspoon of oyster sauce and 200 grams of kimchi. Make sure to pour all juices from the kimchi in too, uh, it's all great flavour. Mix it well and add 1 teaspoon of sugar and 1 teaspoon of soya sauce. Tzuyu sauce is great for adding umami but if you can't get it you can try making it from scratch. I have the recipe on my website and I've put the link in the description. If not just use soy sauce that's all fine. So we're just gonna fry this until the kimchi is warmed through. You might be thinking this dish is not very Japanese with kimchi as the main ingredient but Japanese people love kimchi too. Um, we eat a lot of kimchi at home. Kimchi in Japan is usually not as spicy as the original Korean one though. I'd say this dish is quite similar to shogaki which is a ginger pork dish. I also have the recipe on my channel if you like butter kimchi. I'm sure you'll love shogaki too. Finally, we add the Chinese chives and stir fry for one more minute. Time to serve up. Garnish with sesame seeds and chopped spring onion. This dish is best served with rice. And there you have it, quick, easy and flavorful buta kimchi. 
Thanks for much watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tasty Japanese recipes. Thanks again. Hope to see you in next video.